edition of the Social Studies Civil War blog. This week, I would like to start by discussing two speeches from Abraham Lincoln. I'm only going to read part of both speeches. The first speech we're going to look at is the Gettysburg Address. And so the brave men, living and dead, who struggled here will have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, no one long remember what we said here, but can never forget what happened they did here. It is for us living, rather, to be dedicated here to unfinished work, um, which they who fought here have so nobly worked for. Now I will read some of Abraham's speech, Abraham Lincoln's speech from the second inaugural address. And so, on the occasion of the impending civil war, all dreaded it, all sought to avert it. While the inaugural address was being delivered, the union and divides effects by negotiation. Both speeches are very interesting to me. And um, the purpose of the Gettysburg Address is to help pay respects and honor all those people that died during the Civil War and are going to die because the war wasn't over when the speech was given. While the purpose of the second inaugural address was more to um, discuss like what Lincoln's plan plans were for America in the second um, in his second ter term as president, the theme of the Gettysburg Address is mostly um, to inform the people of his plans again, like I said earlier, and it kind of just goes back to where we see America going in 1865, and. Um, while the Gettysburg Address was specifically about the Civil War and the people that died. And so these two speeches are very different, as you can tell. Um, one difference is the Gettysburg Address is talking a lot about um, the people who are living and also living and how the soldiers' memories will always say, but the inaugural address is talking about the future, and while the Gettysburg Address is just kind of talking about the past and who's died and the people who are going to die, and these two speeches also make, um, the Gettysburg Address makes you feel sad for all the people that died, but also happy because they're being preserved and remembered, while um, the inaugural address makes you feel hopeful for, like, the future of the country. And so, um, this wraps up the third edition of the Social Studies blog. See you next time.